We're putting the harshest, strongest, most stringent sanctions on Iran. I hope to be able to make a deal with them, a good deal, a fair deal, a good deal for them, better for them, better for them. But we cannot allow them to have nuclear weapons. We must be able to go to a site and check that site. We have to be able to go into their military bases to see whether or not they're cheating. That was the president earlier saying the United States of America must never, ever allow Iran to have nuclear weapons. Here with reaction, he is the host of CRTV, Levin's TV. He is the host right here of the number one show, Sunday nights, 10 p.m. and all of cable, Life, Liberty, and Levin. And uh, I call him the great one, Mark Levin. You know, I, one day I'm going to put you on and talk about the story. I had forced you to do radio. Let's be honest about this. You were like, I, I don't want to do it. And I made... I made you <laughs> fill in for me and made you work well, for free for a year on uh, weekends. And that's uh, one, of the, one of the highlights of my career, my friend. How are you? And see that? The world's never been different. <laughs> Listen, Mark, um, when I read The Judge on Friday, I thought of you. Years ago, you wrote an incredible book. It's called Men in Black. And you wrote other, the Liberty Amendments recently. And, and an American uh, tyranny, what's... Um, Liberty versus oh, tyranny. So many of them. Okay. No, these are all great books because you're a constitutional scholar. You see what is happening. You heard what that judge said Friday. They're putting the screws to Manafort. It has nothing to do with collusion. They want him to sing. Be careful because he may not just right. sing, he may compose. And I was proud of that judge because that judge nailed it. And now you see Sarah Carter's report tonight. Comey and Mueller coordinating? Tell me why this is so wrong. And the audience. <laughs> Well, let's hope the judge is uh, not just a gas bag and actually does something about what he said. Let's drag us all back, if we will, for a few minutes to the Constitution, okay? Because that's the bottom line, and this is where it's going to wind up. And the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General really have to answer some fundamental questions about this investigation. Mr. Mueller wants to interview the President, and he wants to interview him under the most onerous circumstances. What is the purpose of an interview like that based on those 49 general areas? His purpose is to indict the president. Now, what's the purpose of indicting the president? To try the president and to find him guilty. What's the purpose of a conviction? It's to remove the president of the United States from office. That's the bottom line. No president has ever been indicted while in office. Not one. No president has ever been forced before a federal grand jury. Not one. One, no president has ever been removed from office by the United States Senate and two-thirds vote of the Senate. Not one. Mueller's purpose, his purpose is to remove the president. That means one man, got it, that means one man, one jury would usurp the power, the entire constitutional power of Congress, the power to remove a president. You can indict every other public official, a judge, for instance, while they're in office, and go through the impeachment process. You cannot do it with a president. And I'm going to tell you, I've been studying this for decades. I'm studying it now. Here's the authoritative book. So what's going on now? It takes two-thirds of the Senate to remove a president. Not one prosecutor, not one jury. So my question is, from a constitutional perspective, to Attorney General Jeff Sessions, it's time to step up. To the Deputy Attorney General, it's time to pay attention. To the entire country, to all the lawyers you bring on here, this that is going on here now, these fights over whether he's going to be subpoenaed the president, whether he's going to answer questions, whether he can be indicted in office. I want people to understand that the framers never even contemplated what's going on today. They never contemplated that one prosecutor, a civil servant, a bureaucrat appointed by somebody else, would have the power to effectively remove the president of the United States. The reason why the Democrats are hanging their hat on Mueller, the reason why the media are hanging their hat on Mueller, they'll never get two-thirds in the Senate to remove this president. I don't care if they impeach him. They'll never get two-thirds. It's never happened before. So what they're hoping to do is trap him in this, this notion of a subpoena and questioning, indict him, try and humiliate him, try and force him in front of a court, hope that they get the Supreme Court on their side, which I doubt they will, but you never know with these courts, 
and then get them to resign. That's their game plan. You heard it here first. This is very, very important. From a constitutional perspective, as I speak, Mr. Mueller is undermining the Constitution. He's not upholding the rule of law, whether he's consulting with Comey or consulting with Nostradamus. My point is this. <laughs> What's going on right now is anti-constitutional and laugh. is undermining our system. The framers wanted the body politic to decide on whether or not to remove one branch of government, just as the body politic put that person there in the first place. The media are too ignorant, they're too liberal, they're too obsessed to understand this, but I'm hoping tonight, with a few minutes here, the American people will. You know, I call you the great one. One of the best things I, I or greatest accomplishments in my life was convincing you to fill in for my radio show. And it did take convincing. It wasn't easy. Mark, That's you true. are your, your your knowledge of our framers and our founders and our Constitution is second to nobody. Um, what you, these words tonight are important. I agree with every one of them. We love having you on. Don't forget, every Sunday night, the number one show on cable, Life, Liberty, Levin, hosted by the great one, my friend Mark Levin. Thank you, sir.